Today in the rescue zoo, we're gonna see the llamas getting in a nutritious treat, and we're also gonna see how the porcupine are making the keeper's life just a little bit harder by eating their house. Let's get started. The llamas are vegetarians, and because of that, we happily accept donations of cut branches. A local company has been donating and delivering the branches all summer directly to us here in the rescue zoo. Today we are meeting up with Nilla for this enrichment and extra nutritious treat for the llamas. So, hi Nilla. Hey. Hey, are we gonna go to the llamas now? Yeah, I have some grants with me, I will give to them. Okay, so you're putting it down like an enrichment? Yeah, so uh, it's a good uh, little mountain we have here with uh, some, some dirt so I can stick it in there. They like to, to, like in the nature, they will eat from the trees, so it's a natural behavior for them to eat it in this height here instead of just laying on the ground, but they can do both actually. So. But it's better to do an enrichment with them so they have to think about it. Exactly, exactly. And it's even more easier to just take it off the truck. <laughs> yeah, they could do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so some of them are going in this enclosure and some of them is going over here in the other enclosure. Yeah, we have five over here and we have three here. Okay, so it's because they don't need, if they were fighting or something, right? Yeah, we had an issue earlier last year, so we have to separate them. So we have a male and four, four females over there and, and three uh, females here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we can't wait for summer to arrive here in the rescue zoo. Summertime means happy guests and lots of fun activities with the families and educating them about animals and nature. We do speaks at many of our animals on a daily basis, where we talk about the animals and how they were rescued and general facts about them. We also do carrot trips with a keeper for the children and animal loving adults. Next up we're gonna see why the keepers have to work a little extra hard at the porcupines now and then. Porcupines! I believe I've told you guys on the Play Rescue stream before that our porcupines have a tendency to eat the doors. We were trying in the winter period to lock up their indoor enclosure in the night so they wouldn't freeze and uh, that sort of resulted in them eating the door. 
Now our lovely porcupines have decided that even though we have opened up the door, I actually believe, Les, is there even a door now? No. No, it's summertime, <laughs> we took the door off because they ate it. Uh, now they've decided to start eating the side of the house. So, <laughs> Les had to do a bit of uh, porcupine enclosure renovations and uh, we also went down to feed them, so let's go do that. All right. Um, you guys might remember, hi Leslie, <laughs> that a while back uh, the porcupines have a very good um, habit of eating their door and uh, apparently it did not stop because it be even though it became summer. Yeah, no. <laughs> so uh, I believe Leslie, have you already fixed the door? Yeah. I have changed the camera. Okay, so you guys can see here how much they've eaten of the door. And uh, you can see uh, now the new door they have made, we have made for them. And I just thought we should go down and feed them so they could uh, stop eating the door. <laughs> yeah, it's not actually the door, it's uh, something next to the door. Okay. Yeah, because the, the first door they were starting to eat, we just took it off because it's too warm now. So yeah, okay. Don't, they don't need to have it. But they can see what they are starting to eat now instead of when we get down there. <laughs> We love our nature rescue park and we mostly build in natural materials both for the aesthetic and for the economical aspect of it. The porcupines though, they have been working against us. We know that the natural materials do not last forever, which is also why we slowly as we can afford it build in more sustainable materials. But for now, the porcupines are getting an extra enrichment out of eating the door. We are only able to do these renovations with the help from you guys. Either it be you guys come and visit the rescue zoo and see our work firsthand or donations here on the stream that you know is gonna go uncut directly to help all our animals and it may be food, renovations, new enclosures, vet transportation, whatever it might be, your help is what makes us keep doing what we do and keep helping a lot of animals and I want to thank everybody who has donated and visited us so far. <laughs> 